In this lesson, I'll show you how to graph polar coordinates with negative values. We'll tackle three situations, when the angle is negative, when the radius is negative, and when both radius and angle are negative. Let's start with question one. In question one, they want us to graph the vector radius of three at an angle of negative 57 on polar coordinate paper. Notice that the angle here is negative. This means that we will be going clockwise as opposed to counterclockwise. So if this were positive, we would go in this direction but since it's negative, we'll be going in this direction. Now, how much do we go in this direction? Well, what you do is you take 360 degrees, which is your end point, and we will add the angle that we have to it. So 360 plus negative 57, that gives us 303. So our vector will be 303 degrees, and it will have a radius of three. So we will use this circle and we will stop when we have reached 303 degrees. That point looks like 303. And then you draw a vector. That yellow vector represents the following expression. In question two, this time we have a radius that is negative. In fact, our radius is negative five and at an angle of 315. A radius with the negative symbol in front of it indicates the direction. So normally what we do is we find our angle, which is 315, and then we would draw our vector that goes towards that angle. However, this is not the case with a negative number. That negative indicates the direction. Instead of going towards the angle, it shoots the other way. So first find 315, and five is this circle, the vector's tip will be in the opposite direction to this. So how do we find precisely where that is? What you do is you take your angle, 315, and either subtract 180 from it or add 180 from it. If you want an angle that's between 0 and 360, and in this case, we'll have to subtract 180 from 315. Let me show you. 315 minus 180 gives us an angle of 135. 135 is this line. So our point will be 5, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 135. So the tip of our vector will be right there, and I'll fill this in with a vector. In our last example, question 3, we're asked to graph the vector negative 2 at an angle of negative 120 degrees. Once again, we need to find out negative 120 degrees by going clockwise. We'll take 360 and add negative 120, or subtract 120. We get 240. I'll put a point at 240 right there. And the radius here is negative 2. Negative 2 tells us that we'll be shooting in the opposite direction as opposed to towards the angle. So 240 is the same thing as, and I can use this graph to tell me what that is, it is the same thing as 60. So if I were to have subtracted 180 from 240, I would have gotten 60 degrees, and my vector would be right here. And so there you have it. That is how to graph polar coordinates with negative values.